I love the movie, by the way. I'm sure you've heard that a lot today, but I just wanted to say it again. Um, oh, thank I'm you. Gonna, uh, Andrew, I'm actually going to start with you. I just wondered about how you came to know Joel, uh, if you've known him for a long time, and, and sort of how you came to be involved in, in this project. Yeah, um, you know, Joel uh, watched my first fe uh, feature, Spa Night, and he reached out to me on Twitter. And, you know, I had seen his stand up and I thought he was so funny. And it's such a small, gay, Korean American, you know, like artist world that, like, I was like, yeah, I definitely want to, like, meet up with you. So we had coffee and um, he didn't have the idea for Fire Island yet. Um, but a couple of years later, uh, you know, he reached out and said, hey, I've got this feature. Um, and I just thought it was so beautiful and meaningful and, um, you know, really special for the queer Asian American community. Like, I really wanted to be a part of it. Um, and Margaret, it feels like every character had their moment at some point in this. And your character certainly has hers. How is it for you balancing the, the comedy of this piece with the, with the pathos? I think there's so much heart to the film and in the script and in Andrew's direction, you know, like everything is is uh, calibrated so beautifully. And I think for humor to really work, there has to be a lot of pain underneath. And, you know, like even the place, Fire Island, is a place of pain where you have to kind of go to be gay in a private island. <laughs> and then now it's sort of become a place where we just go and celebrate that. So I think that it's just... Um, we, it luck, we lucked out like because we were also understanding what the story is and how we're supposed to tell it. So we all brought that experience to the film. Yeah, because Andrew, I was going to ask, when dealing with such naturally funny and affable people like Margaret, like Joel, like Bowen, is there an element as a director of just kind of letting them do their own thing and, and to be themselves? Because it's their personalities which are so engaging and infectious that you almost have to go, obviously within the parameters of the narrative, uh, you have to exist with it, but you almost just go, be yourself. <laughs> I mean, uh, I I definitely wanted to have a light touch as a director because I, I didn't want to make any of these people not funny. <laughs> you know, I didn't want to squash things. And I and that's happened to me before where I've directed like television shows where it's a comedy and I've like directed an actor and like suddenly a joke becomes really sad and I'm like, oops, sorry. Um, and so I, I, I really wanted to kind of set the environment, you know, um, create a, a, a space where the actors could feel really comfortable and vulnerable, you know, and I think that that allowed them to, um, you know, uh, show off their personalities, show off their relationships, you know, um, in a really organic way. And so I, I was, um, you know, I, I'm no fool. Like when I see talent, you know, you just let it do, like let them do their thing. And, and you know, obviously, there's a little bit of shaping and guiding, but like it was just such a, a, a lovely, talented cast to work with. I know, I know this film will sort of no doubt be important for, for sort of teenagers who are gay or sort of wanting to know what the world holds for them. And films like this can be such a great help in letting them know they're not alone. I was wondering what your film TV equivalent of was of Fire Island, if at all. And if the answer to that is you didn't have one, is that what made you want to, to tell this? Gosh. Oh. Um... Showgirls? <laughs> Showgirls? Showgirls? Um, you know, uh, Crystal Connor and Nomi Malone's relationship with Showgirls? No, I don't know, actually. I wonder. I mean, I'll, I'll say for me, um, uh, The Wedding Banquet, you know, oh, I watched yeah. that uh, as a kid and I, I loved it and I was like, oh, I'm gay. Um, and then and then Margaret's show, All American Girl, you know, both Joel and I have talked about how you can draw a direct line from All American Girl to Fire Island. And I, I think we, we wouldn't have this movie if it wasn't for Margaret. Uh, and just my, my very final question um, is I loved at the beginning, you know, when you very quickly play around with the sort of 20th Century Fox theme song. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it reminds me of my very favourite YouTube video in the world, which is like someone playing the theme tune to that really badly. It's just like 20 seconds. Uh, and it got me thinking, what's your uh, go to that funny video when you just need to just laugh quickly and just feel happy? Have you got a quick YouTube clip that you always refer back to? Um, I like when they pull the sound out of uh, Dancing in the Street with Bowie and Jagger dancing, but it's just sounds of their um, effort in movement. That's really, that's always a fun one. That's a really good one. <laughs> um, gosh, I'll say like my like, like quick fix is um, 
uh, Instagram um, uh, cat paws, anything with cat paws. I think they're like so cute and I just want to like stuff them in my mouth. So. so cute. That Bowie video is honestly one of my favorites. On the it's really, it's a good one because it's just, it's real simple. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go and watch that now. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. And good luck with the movie. Release the movie. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.